Master Man. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, I didn't want to come on to this, but it's an elephant in the room um, that we need to address. Where do I start here with this one? Let's start with, uh, with those who actually did business. Let's start with Spurs. Let's start with Spurs. Yeah, let's start with Spurs. Yeah, let's start with Spurs. Let's How do you feel about it, Bram? Your transfer business? I'm, I'm good. It's, it's livid. I think I, I, I said to you, Devi, I was, I was livid. Um, and here's, here's my reason mm. why I'm angry. You, you do business with a week to go. You drag out a, a option of buying. The manager wants him. Conte wanted Traore. They drag it out. He drag it out because Levy thinks that when he goes to smaller clubs, he can get a signing over the line. Right? Mm. So we lost out on Traore. He then goes to a club that's got two bench sitters. And because the, the director of football, you know, he probably brought them here. He's got a relationship. The, 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 it's almost like a last resort. Who do we turn to? Go to Juve and get whoever they don't want anymore. And just keep our fans happy. What does he do on the very same day? He all of a sudden finds four clubs interested in four of our players on loan. And he finds a fifth club willing to buy one of these bench sitters. Here's what angers me. Do you know that he made a 35 million profit on Dele Alli? 35 million profit. He sold him for 45 million. He owes Milton Keynes five million, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. is yeah. does that is, is that is is that the signs of an owner that is really has got the club at heart? He sold he bought Gareth Bale for three million, sold him for eighty nine million. He can point to the books for the profit he's made in his tenure at Spurs. It's all on selling kids. So his motto is: this is his business module. 18, 19, 20 year olds has got sell on value, is what he's interested in. He was never going to sign. Look at when we lost on Diabala. Diabala signed for Spurs, the deal was done. All he wanted was his marketing rights. It would have cost Levy 100 million. He bailed out after the guy signed his, his name on a contract to sign for Spurs. He's not interested in the club winning trophies. He's not. He couldn't care less about making a final. He couldn't. Right. And it just shows that we are, I feel embarrassed sitting on this platform. I've got a Chelsea fan, a Liverpool fan, United fan, an Arsenal fan. I feel like I'm invading this. You know, like the plus one? I'm the, I'm the plus Your one. Brother, you haven't even heard what I had to say yet, my man. Trust me. You, you, you are the plus one. I'm the, I'm the plus one. If you want to know what I had to say, my guy. Hey. Because, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Under all Mengus final tenure how many FA Cups did you win in the last five years one four no they won four FA Cups oh in the last oh, five Vingers in five years, five years. Oh, sorry. I think you won his one five, five yeah. trophies in five trophies in his last five years isn't it I think one a season yeah 2008 yeah, was the like last that. time 2008 was the last time he won a trophy do you know what Levy points at Spurs have been in the semi-final of a competition for the last seven years straight They've been to a semi final or a final. <laughs> we just throw people that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you I see, he, generate, you he generates more revenue. If revenue, we achieve yeah. things like that, because on the stock market, that is what is placed on as we, when we achieve. Imagine if we win a trophy. Spurs are probably one of the richest clubs in the world after that final. Mm. Yeah. We're done. We are finished. Conte's going to leave in the summer. Um, and his he's, he's, he's get out of jail card is his Pochettino will come back. What we done? We uh, finished. Yeah. 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 finished. I was going to ask you actually. I was going to ask you actually. Um, how long do you think Conte will will survive? But you said he's leaving in the summer. Um, summer. Look, for me, I still think you will get top four be simply just because of Conte. But he won't so, stay. He won't stay. Why would he stay? So, so you're saying that, that Tottenham, Tottenham does, replaces United in the top four? Yep. Maybe. Okay. Yep. That's just, that's just, that's just how I feel. The, I, I'm trying to figure out why do we let our two playmakers go, Lo Celso and Dombley? No matter what people think of them, that is what Tottenham has. Mm. They can be average, whatever you classify them as. And I get the fact that Luke Conte started football, he doesn't need a playmaker. He, he prefers creativity with his wingers. Mm. 
But, but we think I'm going to not bad signings, Bram. Vincent yeah, but Zevsk is a quality not signing. Bad, they're not bad signings. But you want him to play with Oli Skip. You're asking him to play with Harry Winks and Ben Davies. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's a difference. Where do they oh, come from? Oh, oh, who, are they, who are they playing with at the moment? Where they left? And who are they coming to play with? There's a difference in they are not bad players. And then now they've come to United to play with Quality. Fred. He's come to play with uh, one Bissaka. Do you understand? Yeah. We, we've started analyzing Is Ronaldo actually all of that at this age still. You remember, look what he's playing with. That's the problem mm. we're sitting with. Mm. You could bring Pelin Maradona. It won't make a difference first. Sure. Wow.